What up? So, the friend zone happens to you because you don't tell the truth. You don't be honest. You don't tell her what it is. You're afraid of her. You're afraid of her rejection. You're afraid of what she thinks about you. You are afraid of what the truth really is. So you got to understand that you have to understand that women have guys that are in it, that are, she she either it's going to fuck you or she's going to use you for your non-sexual attention. Bottom fucking line. She's either going to fuck you or she's going to use you for your non-sexual attention. And what is your non-sexual attention? Likes, comments, uh, Instagram likes, Facebook likes, comments, uh, dinner dates, phone calls, uh, emotional tampon, um, sending you pictures. Hey, how did this look? Oh, it looks sexy. Ego boost. Non-sexual attention and validation. That's all she sees you for in the friend zone. That is it. That is it. Because for one, you weren't direct with her from the start. See, you we approach women to fuck anyway. That's our first instinct. Don't give me that bullshit. Don't give me that bullshit when you see that big ass and them big ass titties or that sexy ass face. I want to be your friend. I want to be your friend. I want to be in a relationship with you. Hey, shut the fuck up, simp ass blue pill beta male bitch. You want to fuck that bitch brains out. You want to bust over that bitch face. I want that bitch to suck your motherfucking dick. And listen, this is why I like Alan Roger Curry. This is why I like the mode one approach. Be straight up. You ain't got to go to the chick and be like, you know what? I want to fuck the shit out of you. You can just tell her smooth, man. Be smooth with her. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I find you very attractive and I would love to share my company with you. Here's my number. Bam! Like, it's that easy. You see? Uh, all that, man. You know, you you say it again. Or, oh, I have a boyfriend. Yeah, you, 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 you get the run down to her again. Well, whenever you're ready to get away from it all, whenever you're ready to get away from all the headaches or, you know what I'm saying? Here's my number. Whenever you're ready to have fun and get away from reality, here's my number. Because nine times out of ten, boy, most boyfriends are seen as beta male providers, blue pill, scent man, giant motherfuckers. Majority. So he's already beta buck. She need an alpha fuck. So you can't, you can't get friend. If if you want to know how to, how, how can you can never be friend zone? Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Be real from the jump. She can never friend zone you when you're real from the jump. Never. She can never friend zone you when you tell her your true intentions from the from the jump. That's why I don't believe in. I don't believe in being um, friends with the opposite sex, the opposite sex, especially if you're sexually attracted to her. If you are friends with the opposite sex and you are sexually attracted to her, you are a fucking simp. You're a fucking blue pill beta male simp. Because you put her value over yours. And what I mean by that is you're scared to tell her that I would love to have sex with you. I find you sexually attractive. She know you want to fuck her. But you so much of a bitch, you not going to let that be known to her. You not going to let that be known to her. So you already fear her. You fear her because you don't want to tell her the truth. Why you think these niggas don't? Why you think these niggas don't snitch? They all snitch because they scared. They know what's going to happen. Motherfucker going to come and kill you. But that's two different things. That's a woman and that's snitching. You scared of a woman? You place her value over yours? Are you serious? Now, don't get me wrong. If the, if the friendship is business, if the friendship valuable is business, then that's different. If she's adding currency and business into your life while her being your friend, that's a different situation. That's a different scenario. I'm all cool with that. If anything, you alpha as fuck if you do that shit. But if you deep down, you want to dig her motherfucking guts out and you want her to suck your motherfucking dick and you ain't telling her that you want to do that, you a beta male, blue pill, scent mangina motherfucker. 
I remember this one chick I really, really used to like. Y'all, I'm going to tell y'all a story, man. You know what I'm saying? She used to, man, I'm talking about she had big titties. You know what I'm saying? She was karma skin, sexy as fuck, man. She knew I wanted to fuck her, but she always would get mad that give me that possibility. She always give me hope. Well, one day, when the time's right, motherfucker, that mean never. She'll always call me and tell me about her ain't shit ass nigga. Her ain't shit ass boyfriend. She'll always call me and talk to him. Talk to me about him. Oh, he he always he I remember one time she called me, she said, Oh, I call him fucking another bitch. Oh, I called him talking to other bitches. And she couldn't stop sucking his dick and fucking his dick. She just couldn't fucking stop. And this one that was my blue my blue pill days. I couldn't fucking understand it. Like, damn. And I'd be like, fuck that nigga. Fuck him. He a bitch. Fuck him. He don't love you. And she would always just bounce on his dick the next day. Suck his dick the next day. He busting all in her face. She calls me, ah, he did it again. And you know me, fuck that bitch. Fuck that nigga. Tell me y'all, man. You, you put yourself in the friend zone. She don't put you in the friend zone, nigga. The fuck? <laughs> shit easy. This shit, man, these women easy, man. Dude, be the opposite. Be the opposite. Stop validating them. And tell the truth. You wanna fuck her? You ain't gotta be blunt with it. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta be like. Man, I I mean if you want to, you could. I did it before. If you want to, you could, but you can just be casual with it. You could be smooth with it, but in a direct way of, you know what I'm saying? She got two choices. Either she say yes or no. But if you're indirect, if you're, you know, uh, playing games and oh, how's your day and not really telling her, you know what I'm saying? Um, shit can happen. You know what I'm saying? Shit, shit, shit's going to happen. And what's going to happen is she's going to friends on you. Shit's going to happen because she's going to friends on you because you're not telling the truth. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. It'll set you free. It'll set you free. That way you'll know what the chick on. You'll know they're from the jump. Man, this bitch is a... It seems like Alan Roger Curry called manipulative time waste. This bitch was... Like, if, if you tell the truth and you red pill, first you got to be red pill to understand female nature and understand why they do what they do. Like this one chick. Like, like women love attention, guys. They, they can't live without it. I remember this one chick... You know what I'm saying? She was uh, DMing me on Instagram and she was like, she sent me a screenshot of this um um this um beta male scent man giant motherfucker. Just kept on DMing her, kept on DMing her, kept on DMing her. And she was like, look at this thirsty guy. What 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 should I say so he can stop? No, she was she was like, and then she was like, why hasn't he stopped? I said, You haven't gave him a reason to stop. You haven't gave him a reason to stop. Motherfucker. If I'm driving to the rim, if I'm in the NBA and I'm driving to the rim and that nigga beating my shit up down there, he he blocking my shit, beating my shit the fuck up, you think I'm going to keep going down there? He gave me a fucking reason to not go down there, G. I'm not going down there. So if 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 he if you keep on inviting him back to your IG, you ain't blocking him or nothing, block the bitch. I say block him and she ain't respond. She can't block him because she like free attention. All women need attention, even in committed relationships. They need attention. They thrive off that shit. They live. They can't. They can't live without it. Women need attention. They can't live without attention. I don't care if you marry that bitch. I don't care if that bitch says she loves me. She sucks. She suck your suck the suck the uh, water out your fucking pipe. Suck all the nut juice out your motherfucking pipe. Quacking on your shit like Donald Duck. She still need attention from other men. So, with that being said, man, I mean. If you wanna, if you never wanna be friend zone, tell the truth. If you never wanna be friend zone a day in your life, tell the truth. If you never wanna be friend zone a day in your life, be direct and tell her what it is. Tell her you wanna fuck this shit out of her, or be more casual, be more smooth with it, because she will respect that, and you would never get friend zone. She might reject you, and then she might come back later in your life. But when you friend zone, uh, when you you stuck in that motherfucker forever, forever. And remember, like I always say at the end of my videos, 
when you red pill, you know why.